Hi, Aaron from Ocean Analysis again. I'm gonna do a short uh, discussion on parametrics and what I mean by parametric design. I was digging through some of my items and I found an old, there was an old software called Ovation that I used in 1993, 94. So before that, you can notice in that CAD software, it came with a library of designs and notice here they didn't call it out length with depth. It was called out a, B, and H. Then I found some other ones. This one's from where I worked for many, many years at Dimensional Impressions and Score. This is from 1993. So notice they took a similar shape, but assigned different variable sets. So this software, is some. this idea of parametrics has been around more than 30 years, much longer than that. And here's just another example of sort of the same box from a software called Ardios that most people are familiar with. And this was copyrighted in 1996. So you can see here, it's kind of interesting for the standard. It says US standard, ECMA and FEFCO. ECMO and FEFCO are standard libraries out of Europe that you can associate numbers to for the language. They might call a box a 201 or a number. In the United States, we tend to just call them by the name like RSCs, uh, one piece folders, OPFs, but it can vary by region, especially when you start getting into to items like that carton that I did. We, I would call that a roll in tuck top. Some people call it a roll in tuck top with cherry locks, dog ears, dust flaps. So the naming conventions don't mean as much as the actual variables that you assign to your parametric. So I'll be discussing that in some videos now. Thank you.